It's a state-of-the-art facility with swimming pools, exercise rooms, even a full-size basketball court. But it's not reserved for a pro sports team. It's for families in Denver. Tonight, Dominic Garcia takes us inside the new Carla Madison Recreation Center. This place is nicer than a lot of athletic clubs I've seen, and I want to show you something cool. Some of these machines are helping to make public art. They're hooked up to a light display outside, so the harder people here work affects what you see on the street. On its opening day, Denver's newest rec center was already dropping jobs. Oh, the basketball court. Oh, yeah, it's real nice. New floors. Wayne Carter loves basketball, but here there was also something for Deanna Gonzalez. While he's playing basketball, I'll be over here exercising. It is 67,000 square feet, several stories, and the list of amenities is long. Weights, treadmills, a lap pool, a kid's pool, even a lazy river. Me and my friends have been pretty excited about the rec center opening. Jack Beardshire says it'll help him and his friends train. We're looking to get in shape for the next cross-country season here at East. The rec center is named after Carla Madison, a former city councilwoman known for her vibrance and love of the color orange. She also repeatedly fought for a rec center in her district. Sadly, she lost her battle with cancer in 2011. But Parks and Rec Director Happy Haynes says her message lives on. This central part of town has been missing uh, and, and has been underserved. And we need a facility right here in the heart of this very diverse community. 35,000 people are expected to visit this rec center each month. But for many, it will be more than just a gym. It's a place to gather, it's a place to meet neighbors, a place to have an event and just be part of a community. So here is one more look at the kids area. This place is awesome. Denver has almost 30 rec centers. For hours information on all of them, just go to our website, cbsdenver.com. In Denver, Dominic Garcia covering Colorado First.